I'm Dylan Thomas. I'm a team muscle tech athlete, and today I'm here at bodybuilding.com headquarters to run you through my pre-contest or photo shoot shoulder and arm workout. <sighs> Have I got an awesome workout for you today? It might look a little bit daunting on paper. I know it's 13 different exercises, but don't worry. It's not gonna take you over three hours to complete. There's a lot of supersets and trisets paired together, so we're gonna get a ton of density packed into a short period of time. All right, let's get it rolling. Jumping into the first exercise, modified clean to push press. We're doing a variation of the standard Olympic lift, but we're gonna do it more with a bodybuilding intention. We're gonna be doing three sets of six reps. For this exercise, we're gonna to wanna to hang the weight in front of us. We're not dropping to the floor like a standard Olympic lift. We're going to shoot the weight up to our clavicles before loading with our thigh to push the weight overhead. This is a great explosive movement for total shoulder development. Moving into the second exercise, this is our last chance to use more of a moderately heavy weight before we jump into more of the high volume, density packed supersets and giant sets. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 reps on this one. On this exercise, we're gonna to wanna to pyramid up on each set until we aim for muscular failure on the final set of the exercise. All right, now it's time to pick up the pace of this workout. We're jumping right into a tri-set with the intention of blasting the side delts. Now, for this tri-set, we're gonna pair the Arnold press, the Y press, and the dumbbell laterals. Volume-wise, we're gonna be doing three sets, 10 reps across all three exercises. For your Arnold press, I want you to focus on not locking out so we can keep a ton of tension on the side delts. For the Y press, we want to take a wide grip on the barbell and keep a very rhythmic fashion to our reps so that we can keep a ton of tension on the shoulder through the entire rep range. Now for my dumbbell laterals, I like to flare my shoulders and my lats out. This allows me to engage my side delt more effectively. And then as I raise the weight, I like to raise it right out to my side. Now it's time to finish up shoulders, but let's keep our intensity high as we try to finish off the rear delts. Okay, it's time for our first superset of this workout. We're going with a cable face pull to pre-fatigue the rear delt, and then a bent over dumbbell raise. For this superset, we're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps on each exercise. The cable face pull is an exercise people get far too caught up in how much weight they can move. The rear delt is a very small muscle that takes a precise range of motion and movement pattern to get it to pre-fatigue and engage. If you're using too much weight, you're gonna be getting the traps involved. Okay, now we're gonna finish off this superset with the bent over dumbbell raise. Again, make sure you're selecting a weight that's going to allow you to target the rear delt and not have to force the traps or the lats into the movement by swaying it too far back. Okay, now we're moving on to everybody's favorite body part, the arms. We're gonna kick things off by pumping up the triceps. We've got a superset for you here between neutral grip cable press downs and bench dips. Volume wise, we're going for three sets of 12 reps. The key to the neutral grip cable press down is to allow your forearm to touch your bicep when you come up to fully lengthen the tricep. And then as you press down, you're gonna to wanna to slightly twist your thumb downward to engage the long head of the tricep. With bench dips, I often find people slapping on 45 after 45 on their waist. What I like to focus on instead is focusing on the contraction at the top of the range to really blast and fatigue the muscle. Doing so will mean you don't have to put on all those weights and you can fully fatigue the muscle. Moving on to some biceps now. We're gonna start things off with a reverse grip barbell curl and then we're gonna do a standard barbell curl. Volume wise, we're doing three sets of 12 reps. So this superset, we're starting things out with a reverse grip barbell curl. We're trying to pre-fatigue the forearms and the biceps to a degree before we move into the standard barbell curl. We're doing so because without a fully developed forearm, you're gonna be lacking that complete arm development you're after. Now when we move into the standard barbell curl, we've already pre-fatigued the biceps to a certain degree. This is gonna allow us to take them to failure. Moving into the final exercises of this workout, we've already supersetted triceps together and we've supersetted biceps. Now it's time to combine them both together and we're gonna superset biceps and triceps. On this one, we're pairing the dumbbell overhead tricep extension with an inclined bench dumbbell 21s. 
With the overhead dumbbell tricep extension, at the bottom of the range where the tricep is fully lengthened, I like to almost allow the weight to pull it back slightly further to get a deeper stretch before I raise the weight up and contract the muscle. Jumping into incline bench dumbbell 21s. Now, if you're unsure of what a dumbbell 21 is, basically we're doing seven partial reps at the bottom of the motion, then we're doing seven partial reps at the top of the motion before we complete the movement with seven full range of motion reps. I've put this one at the end of the workout to fully take advantage of the stretch factor we're gonna get on an incline bench. We're aiming to completely blow out the biceps at this point and take them to complete failure. For this exercise, we're going to need to be quite conservative in our weight selection. It's very high volume, and though after the first set you might feel like you can jump up, the metabolite buildup across each set is going to accumulate quite intensely, and you're going to notice a ton of lactic acid buildup as you move further and further into each set, which is going to inhibit your ability to perform the reps correctly. So, start off with a conservative weight and move up gradually. <sighs> So for this workout, when I'm getting ready for a photo shoot or competition, I like to throw it in every five to seven days. It's gonna help me cut down body fat and retain as much muscle tissue as possible. If you've got any questions about this workout, you can find me on Instagram at DylanThomas90. For more free articles and videos just like this one, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com. Hit that subscribe button.